Welcome to Infocom's Stage Lighting Series. This presentation will illustrate a simple stage lighting setup, lighting a lectern for video. While almost any light will draw attention to the stage, when image magnification or video recording is involved, simple theatrical lighting becomes more mathematical. The primary instrument used for this setup is the Ellipsoidal Reflector Spotlight, or LECO. We know that LECOs are available in several focal lengths. So, how do you determine which instrument to use? Simply put, how far will the instrument be from the target? How wide of a beam is needed to hit the target? And how bright does it need to be? Foot candles are the measure of the intensity of a light beam. While modern video cameras can operate in lower light conditions, a good rule of thumb is to have at least 100 foot candles at the target. Why? Because of improved contrast ratio and depth of field. Depth of field is how far an object can move toward or away from the lens and remain in focus. It is determined by the size of the iris opening. As light intensity increases, the iris opening is reduced, resulting in greater depth of field. Now we turn to photometrics. These are manufacturer's specifications that provide beam width, foot candles, and distance tables. For our example, we will assume we need 100 foot candles of intensity at the lectern using a single LECO. We need the beam width to be a minimum of 6 feet. The lights will be placed at 30 feet from the lectern. Looking at the photometric charts, we see that a 36 degree LECO using a 750 watt lamp will give us about 100 foot candles of intensity and can be shuttered down to the desired beam width. A 26 degree LECO could also be used if more intensity is required. When lighting for video, use lamps with the correct color temperature. For indoor shoots, the lamps should be rated at 3200 degrees on the Kelvin scale. Basic three-point stage lighting includes key, fill, and backlight. While the textbook example has the key and fill lights 45 degrees off axis from the lectern, most portable setups will need adjustment based on physical space. The key and fill lights may be placed closer together so as to provide a backup in case one instrument fails. Key and fill lights should be at a maximum angle of 45 degrees to the target. Adjustments will be made based on the ceiling height of the venue. If the angle of the key and fill instruments is too steep, harsh shadows will appear under the eyes, nose, and chin. Backlighting is a critical requirement when shooting video. An electronic image is two-dimensional by nature. Backlighting provides a crisp edge, which improves definition and helps separate the foreground from the background. This is especially important when working against dark drape backdrops. Let's move on to our example setup. The first step is to assemble and place the lighting trees. Using a ladder, hang the LECOs on the tree. Tighten the clamp bolt with a wrench. Attach a wire safety to each instrument. And open all four shutters completely. Since all of our instruments use 120 volt power, what we are concerned with is current. Using Ohm's law, we divide the wattage of the lamp by the voltage to arrive at the current in amps. Connect the proper size AC extensions and power each instrument to verify operability. In some cases, a dimmer system may be used to provide individual control of the instruments. Once tested, Secure all cabling so as not to be a hazard. Where applicable, secure the trees with sandbags to prevent tipping. Now, let's demonstrate focusing the instruments. 
First, set up the ladder and get your gloves and wrench. Power the key light and make sure all four shutters are completely open. With the assistance of someone standing behind the lectern, place the center of the beam on the person's face. Tighten the instrument's controls to secure it in place. Next, we'll make the shutter cuts. Adjust the shutters so that the presenter is framed behind the lectern. Use the barrel focus for hard or soft edge. Repeat the process for the fill light. Focus the backlight to give a crisp edge to the head and shoulders, making sure it does not bleed into the audience area. Another technique is the use of pale color gels to improve flesh tone, especially against a dark background. Typically, the key light will use a warmer color and the fill light will use a cooler color. If the angle of the key light is unavoidably steep, try placing white poster board or foam core on the lectern. This will help reflect more light and reduce facial shadows. Consider using a lighter drape color for the lectern backdrop. This will improve the camera's ability to separate the foreground from the background. Or place foliage behind the lectern and light it from above or below. Since lighting equipment is usually placed in the audience space, it is even more important to make safety your number one priority. Lighting equipment must be isolated from audience contact. Electrical cables are hazards and must be adequately protected. And as always, disconnect power from equipment before servicing. We hope you have benefited from this Fundamentals presentation on Lectern Lighting for Video. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for more of Infocom's Live Event Training Series.